dripping with sweat. Oh, this is so intense now. You see my, my trousers are too tall. Hey, welcome to Training at 45. Another week has elapsed and it's time to get out there and, and hit the iron. So, uh, yeah, back's recovering, hopefully. I'm not getting any more sharp spasms or anything, so I just need to just be very careful how I train today. But um, in the last week, I've just been doing some, some cave ball movements and done a really good workout, I think, on Tuesday night. But a number of family things have um, happened over the week, so it's not been possible to get out and train, which isn't a bad thing. It's given me a chance to have a break as well. But I've uh, been doing a bit of reading in my spare time about the uh, the man they call the Iron Guru, um, Vince Gironda, and a number of his training methods, really. So I might try and apply some of that today, uh, notably um, in what he calls the, the 8x8 training method, and also um, with one of his curl variations, which I think might work really well for me, because I... Um, have a bit of pain in, in the forearms from time to time from the regular barbell curls. So yeah, let's get out there and uh, we'll make the magic happen. Oh, this is not a too bad day. I thought it was gonna rain quite heavily, but uh, it's been all right. Oh, got the usual distractions in the training arena today. Just had a really good uh, walk in the woods, which can serve as part of my warm up for today, I think. <laughs> Get off my feet! Ah! I quite like that stretch there. Okay, so we'll get the power rack set up then for the first exercise, which will be the overhead press with the axle bar. The great thing about having all your own kit is you can just mark up everything you want to, and it doesn't matter, it's all yours, including your adjustments as well. So we know where everything needs to be. Yeah, so for the Vince Gironda then, from what I've read, a um, very influential trainer, um, had a gym in Hollywood and trained the likes of Arnold Schwarzenegger, even movie actors such as Clint Eastwood. Had some very, very strict methods and unorthodox rules, I suppose, about different exercises and, and training. So we're going to use one of his training methods, which is to adjust the rep scheme. So instead of doing, um, perhaps like on this first exercise, uh, two sets of 12 reps or three sets of 12 reps, um, it's actually going for eight sets of eight reps, but with a weight that's about 70% of your one rep max, which would be roughly the 12 rep um, weight. So, um, yeah, but we're going to do that as well with only 30 seconds or not much more really of rest between each set. So I think it's going to be quite intense. So we'll see how we go on this first exercise. And as well, I'm moving on to a, a new weight on the overhead press as well. So I'm inching towards that goal that I've got for myself. So let's give it a try. Okay, so it took me a while just to warm up, I think, just to get to the uh, near enough working weight. So we've got one more warm up set, and then we're gonna hit it. I've got some pebbles here that I can quickly just count the sets, because I've got a feeling the intensity of this is gonna be high, and I'm not gonna remember how many sets I did by the time I get to about the fifth one. Anyway, one more warm up. Okay, we're loaded up. I've already resigned myself to the fact that this could be quite pushing, so I'm just going to get the reps that I can get, as many I can get in each set, and then we'll just re-evaluate at the end. Here goes, first set of eight. Oh, already felt a little bit heavy, but there again, I've not been training much this week, so... Man, it's already feeling killer. Definitely getting a slowed down bar speed already. Man, the youth is set to. Maybe I'll get this sudden onset of uh, stamina that comes from nowhere. Oh, 
five. <sighs> That's five that time. I think I vastly underestimated how challenging this was going to be. And maybe this 70% calculation needs to be revisited to perhaps 60% or even 50. How you can do eight sets of eight hook with this, I don't know. Three. Three reps are on <laughs> set four already. Three. Three again. Oh, just trying to stretch out the shoulders a little bit. Oh. Two. <coughs> that was two. Two more sets to go. I'm hoping I can just still get a rep in, this, in the last set at this rate. I think if I'd have really strained, I might have been able to do three. Okay, last set coming up. So I think I might be able to just squeeze out two. One. Yeah, so can this be done at the 12 rep max? I don't think it can. It probably needs to be more like the 15 rep max really, or even beyond that, because it's uh, so intense with that short amount of um, rest period. There's no way you can get another eight reps out. It's just not the recovery, but my shoulders are just burning already now from that. I think overall volume wise, I've done a heavier weight than I was last time, and I have done more individual reps. And actually given the time that I would have taken doing two sets and having like a two minute rest between those sets, it might have more of an impact on me even doing that, even though I haven't done eight, rep, eight reps in each set. But anyway, I think the next exercise, that is normally done at 15 reps. So I'm gonna use that for the eight rep and then see if that can be completed. Okay, we chalked up, we weighted up. So let's see if we can do eight sets of eight at our 15 rep max. Set one. Yeah, already, this, this seems more like, I think, the intended way of doing this. I can feel the, the reps a lot more. But it's seeing if we can get all the way to the last set and get eight. Then we know we're on to something. So there's also quite a good fat burning element to this type of training. I can believe that because I'm getting a sweat on already. Oh. Intensity is mounting now, I think. Definitely need a drink after this set. <sighs> just two more sets now. This feels just on the money, this does. Every rep is like a quality rep, but it feels like... It's got some real intensity to it. It's got one more set now. We're still hitting sets of eight, so that's great. Oh, completed. Yeah. So I think that was more like how it's intended. That was based on the 15 rep max. All eight sets were completed. The last couple of sets, I could feel the last few reps in each one were quite grinders, but still achievable with good form. So yeah, I think if anyone's gonna try this at home, I suggest edging towards the 15 rep max rather than your 12 rep max. Right. Okay, put some foam on the bench. Not taking any chances with that discombobulating my back again no sir yeah so learning from last week's workout i need to prevent sitting down really quickly onto the bench and leaning back really quickly because that's obviously crushing my uh lower spine or the discs and then squashing them on the way back so that can't be a good thing so just doing the last warm-up set for the 
dumbbell bench. So I'm going to heed my own warnings and just be very careful on the way backwards. I'm just going to dump the weights on the floor rather than try to sit up with them under loads because I don't think that's doing me any favours either. Right then, first set of eight. Careful on the way back. Roughly working out a 30 second set and also a 30 second rest period, which is quite handy. Last set now, at least we're still doing triples, which is better than the bench was, the uh, overhead press was even. I can't even think straight now. Oh, that's weird, I got four in that last set. Oh, God. Man, that really smokes you. You can feel it in your abs and everything. So I tried to do like a calculated 15 rep max there, but I still think I should have gone slightly lighter to keep the eight reps a set going because it's just getting unmanageable. Oh, certainly a good workout, though. I think even if you're in this situation where you're not hitting the eight reps, you just have to push as hard as you can and see if you can get at least what you did on the last set with only that 30 second rest. <sighs> it's halfway through the workout and I've got through three cups of water. This is ridiculous. So this next exercise is gonna be a bicep exercise, but with a bit of a difference. So typically most people would get a barbell and curl the barbell like so. Whereas this one is a drag curl. So the bar is going to drag up the body very closely and stay in contact with the body. So instead of that, it's going to be more like this. So we're going to do, again, we'll do it for the eight, eight by eight. I'm just guessing at the weight that it might need. So I may have gone too low, may have gone too high, but uh, let's give it a go. So I'm actually putting my thumbs under the bar because I'm finding it's hurting my forearms less than to do that because I've, it's such a thick bar. I'm using a two inch uh, curling bar. I think Vince actually advocated going all the way up to the neck. But I'm trying to just keep that squeeze right up the top and I think you lose it slightly by going beyond the chest. 30 seconds is just like zero rest, really. Oh, I'm just giving my hands a twist around. So we leave a bit of tension on the forearms. Couldn't quite that, get that last rep all the way, but oh yeah, it's toasted now. Okay, we're set up to do some warm ups now on the belt squat. See how I feel whether we go for the 8x8 with these, but I think it's going to be pretty brutal if we do. Okay, we're up to wait for what we would have been doing for the, the 20 rep sets. I think we're going to experiment doing the eights on these as well. Goodness knows how tired I'm going to be after this workout, but there we are. That's two sets down. Feeling manageable so far. I feel it's not leaving my back in that sort of stressed position for too long. Even though really this exercise is much better than a normal squat for just keeping the pressure off your back. So I just want to go for a bit of a wider stance as well. Four. 
four more sets to go. It's taking its toll now. It's taking its toll, all right. We're down to the last rock. It's all or nothing. Days. That was that was pretty intense. Now on this channel we're getting ripped. You can certainly see my my trousers are took their toll in that episode just there. Just do a plank now I think. Oh yeah. I'm dripping with sweat. So intense now. It's coming up at a minute 30 now. I think I'm going to call it there. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> oh. I think my spinal erectors and abs have took their toll a bit with this uh, back injury. I was doing two minutes, but it's not worth pushing it. It'll, it'll return. It always does. So I've had a good day training on the iron, applying some techniques from the amazing Vince Gironda. The 8x8 certainly is very punishing. If you're going to try it, I suggest only aiming at your 15 rep max, or maybe even lower than that, and just going for a really good pump with it and then perhaps build it up. I don't know if it could be sustained for a long period of time, for months and months and months, but it's certainly a good shock to the system. I think it worked really well on things like the rows that I was doing and maybe the curls. Some of the bigger pressing type moves, it's very fatiguing. But there again, I might have just had a bit of an ego check that I needed to give myself. So yeah, keep on chewing. Keep on training at 45. Subscribe to this channel!